Exactly. I was just telling, um, uh, I was streaming and I was telling people about the girl who drowned in the Bukkake. And I was like, that's probably because they left her in it for too long. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What What is the story? Okay. So in 2017, there was a girl who drowned in the Bukkake. Like drowned, like died? She did. She did in Japan. It was, it's like a wild story. Cause like talk about, you know, going out with a bang. Literally, yeah. you know, she um, had, I think it was like 30 guys come on her, but she was like gargling the cum for so long because they want it in her mouth that the director is like, oh, well, we think she was gargling it for so long. And then she started to choke and we thought it was a part of the show. And then no one wanted to go and give her like the Heimlich. Yeah. Like eventually one of, one of the guys went and he was like, I scooped out. There's like a quote where he's like, I scooped out as much as I could and then tried to give her uh, CPR. But by then it was too late. And I'm just like, Whoa, like, I'm like, maybe if they all could have came on time, it never would happen. You know, <laughs> that is fucking bananas. Mm-hmm. And because Holy shit. I think I started talking about this because, um, I don't know if you know, but, um, I was going to do my first Bukaki and, um, Veronica Avlov was like, let me give you a little bit of, uh, tips. Uh, you want to make yourself purge all the cum you swallow or make sure you eat a lot of bread beforehand. And I was like, why? And she was like, because the mass amount of cum is like protein and it will make you go to the bathroom for hours. And that's how I got started on this conversation because I was like, okay. But I was talking to other girls and they all said that too. Like, and I come to think about it, I swallowed 25 loads one time and then I did have kind of like the runs for the rest of the day. And I'm like, bro, like you guys have no idea like the the funny stuff that happens after porn because of all the things you're putting your body through. Yeah. You know, and it's it's so funny. It is, it is a lot on your body. Yeah, it's it's, you're an athlete. You're a sexual yeah. athlete. That's exactly. That's so exactly true. Yeah. I say that all the time. That's that's what I that's what I like to call myself. I'm like yeah. I'm a sexual athlete. Yeah, <laughs> Dude, I mean, very few people can do what you do. Yeah. So we just talked about how you are very much a sexual athlete. What kind of pre and post scene rituals do you have? Um. So before scenes, uh, about like 24 hours before scene, I like to really stretch. Like. I will say probably about like 10 days leading up to scenes because you don't want to stretch where you're sore. Mm -hmm. Um, And when I was shooting actively, I was very into yoga. Mm -hmm. Um, So if I'm going to do a scene that's like uh, a lot of my body, it's a lot of moving. I do a lot of yoga, especially the night before. I'll probably do like a a super flow yoga or something like that. Um, And then I think I'm kind of opposite to a lot of people is I try and just act also normal. Like, Like, a lot of people, like, not eat, you know, because they're like, oh, I I don't want to, like, look fat for the scene before um, or do all these, like, crazy things. And I think, like, the best thing you can do is to, like, keep your body on a regular, like, time, time frame. Like, eat regularly, eat regular hours so your digestive is going at the same time, even if it's not anal, you know, that way you're not bloated because you didn't eat and then you take a sip of water or something on Mm -hmm. set. Um, and then I always just like to, uh, the night before, like, I just like to take like a long bath, relax. If it's like a gangbang or something, I still get nervous, um, which is like ironic. So I kind of, um, I kind of will like go on a hike or do something to, to calm my nerves, uh, or just like listen to music and meditate before I sleep, especially the morning of, I'm normally really, really nervous. Mm -hmm. So, and then aftercare, so this is where I went wrong. And this is where, this is where I wish I could, I wish somebody would have told me and I wish I could tell girls. Um, I didn't do much aftercare. Like after gangbang, I take an ice bath. After mm-hmm. DPs, I take an ice bath um, just because it helps with soreness because sometimes you feel like you're in like a 20 mile per hour car accident mm-hmm. with all the jolting. Um, uh, but other than that, I never really did anything besides like eat a full, like, pizza or something, you know? Yeah. (laughs) And then sleep for like a day. But, you know, looking back on it, I wish I could have learned um, decompression. Mm -hmm. So like anytime I was in a position where I was compressed or contorted, I wish I would have known to do the same amount of time that I was in that position of decompressing because I have uh, uh, IVDD and my C5, 6, 7, and 8. Um, My 7 and 8 have a pinched nerve and my disc is slipped. 
And I think it's a direct cause of a pile driver and not, yeah. not doing anything to, to fix those. Um, so it's getting better, but definitely if you're somebody that wants to get in porn or anything like that, like work your body out afterwards. Take yeah. good care of 